everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another video review and I taught myself this book and it is The First Escape by G.P. Taylor and, that is, and it is the first in the Doppelganger Chronicles. The book follows the story of twin sisters Sadie and Saskia Doppel and their friend Eric, this one's Eric, and the story starts where the three of them are in a boarding school across with an orphanage and one day a wealthy benefactor called Moz Elliot comes and she adopts Saskia without Sadie. Um, these sisters have been together their entire lives, they're twins and Saskia gets adopted without Sadie and she gets taken, she goes to live with Moz Elliot in her big mansion and she stumbles across a conspiracy that not just ends Moz Elliot's life but threatens her own and at the same time there's a dual narrative with Eric and Sadie who are escaping from Isambard Dunstan's school which is where they were living um, and they, but they're being followed by a group of various enemies who are chasing after them and they are trying to find Saskia and Saskia is trying to find them and it, the story continues and goes on and on as this conspiracy that Saskia stumbles across develops and as um, Sadie and Eric's adventures continue and they, I picked this up because I was looking for another graphic novel or comic book and I just found this on my shelf I don't know why I have it I think someone must have given it to me as a gift and it is it's it's a really beautiful book but at the same time it's a little bit bizarre because it flips between various layouts and ways that the pages and the story is presented like that it, it isn't done necessarily in the greatest of ways but it is still very beautiful if not a little bit bizarre so I'll show you a little bit that some pages are like that with a huge image and a little bit of writing and some pages are like that in traditional graphic novel comic book style so that's exactly as you would expect most comic books and some pages are like that with just writing I'm completely blank And some pages are like that with um, beautiful images and illustrations and a little bit of writing but with a black background and it is it flips between all, the, all of those different styles um, without really any notice it just goes through like that and you kind of one minute you're reading just you're just reading the, um, like you would normally the next minute it's in comic book style next minute there's huge um, illustrations and they are beautiful but it's a little bit odd at times the way that it flits between them without much reason it just goes from one to the other but I still really enjoyed it and I enjoyed it that it, enjoyed that it was something which I'd never seen before and um, it's a lot larger than your standard comic book which took me quite a graphic novel it's like two, it's nearly 300 pages and I really enjoyed that but at the same time it took me a while to get used to after I just had the Justice League not graphic comic book because this was was so big and it took me it took like it didn't just take me 45 minutes to get through like most comic books have been taking me the ones that I've read anyway and this took me a few nights because of how big it is um but I kind of enjoyed that I kind of enjoyed that the plot there was it was a lot it was a longer storyline and it was more gritty and there was more to get into than just like under 100 pages this was only 300 pages it's very heavy but I would hugely recommend this the storyline is is amazing um you, know, you don't know what's coming it's it's always a surprise it is a thriller adventure um and because on the back there's a little thing in there it says Juneville fiction action adventure and I will go with that yeah it is it's action packed um the protagonists are very interesting characters Sadie and Saskia and Eric are very interesting characters and you kind of don't know whether to like them or to be on their side but well by the end of it you are on their side but you still don't know whether to like at the beginning you don't know whether to because they are troublemakers and that is kind of the character that they are that within the school they cause a lot of trouble um, and that is why the headmistress tries to get them adopted obviously only one of them goes but but it was a, it was really good but in the way that each chapter kind of switched from POV that well not point of view but the character that it follows so one chapter would follow Saskia the next chapter would follow Sadie and Eric which meant that you wanted to carry on because you just got into Saskia's story and then it was following Sadie and Eric and then you just got into their story and it was back to Saskia and you wanted to know what was going to happen you wanted to know if if you were going to and they were going to be reunited and I loved it it was really good again I enjoyed that it was longer than a typical comic book and the, some of these illustrations are absolutely breathtaking so if you're looking for something a bit a little bit different if you're looking for something which you've never heard of or 
something which is just a lot of fun I would definitely recommend this it is a great read um, I have no idea again I have no idea why I have this or where I got it from um, if I can find it on Amazon I will link it below and yeah this is just a great little great well it's not little at all but it's a great read four out of five stars it was very it was so much fun um there was a lot of action towards the end and I really enjoyed that um it definitely builds up but at the same time there's always something going on um it's not just a great storyline it's a feast for your eyes like it is very well um illustrated the comic book parts are very well done the illustrations i are beautiful and are way better than the comic book part like you can tell they're done by different illustrators but that doesn't take away from the plot line and it is just a good it's an amazing read i really enjoyed this if you want in a comic book or graphic novel that's a little bit longer a little bit more gritty and has a longer storyline this is definitely one to pick up so i shall see you next time um, hopefully another book review, but maybe not, maybe something a bit different, and I'll see, see you soon. Bye!